Hey y'all and welcome to my channel Planning with Brie. My name is Brianna Keyshell and today I am going to be first I'm flipping through the setup of my health and fitness journal. I will leave the video to that down in the description and up in the cards and I am going to be doing my May spread for my fitness journal. That's what we're going to be doing today. So I keep all of my spreads for this journal exactly the same. I said I was gonna do the exact same spreads for the first six months so that I know how I'm going to be using this journal. I know what spreads I'm going to be making and it is not a very long or taxing setup because I do have other journals that I spend all of my creative energy planning and doing so this journal the spreads i'm about to show you right now i've been using them since january and i'm going to continue to use them until the end of june or until i see fit so i'm keeping my cover pages for my weight loss journal very simple I just have the title of the month on the left hand side followed by a calendar um there's just an aesthetic about the calendar I do need them for my habit tracker though so I also have a place that says April was basically a reflection on April and then another section that says in May I will blank which is basically goals for May right now I am fiddling around with some washi tape if you know me you know that me and washi tape you know we have to have our ins and outs I finally got it to how I like it yes. and now I'm going to move on to creating the waterfall Dutch doors. So at first I was going to do tabs, which is why my lettering is off and why I am going to have to go back and fix my cover page um, because I planned to do tabs. But since this journal has 100 GSM instead of like 160, I decided to not make the tabs because they would be flimsy. So I'm going to do the waterfall pages instead. So that's the first page of my waterfall pages. And then on the back, I'm doing my habits for May and I have broken my habits down into five categories. My habits are centered around cardio, weights, a caloric goal, a protein goal and a water goal. Sometimes I interchange those six goals um, or those six habits and I make them look a little different. Down at the bottom, where it's highlighted in green, it says my favorite meals this month. And that's just somewhere I can use to track all of the favorite meals and their calorie, um, their calorie count and macros, things like that. Continuing with the waterfall pages, I am now going to add some washi tape that has a green leafy pattern but it's a really thin pattern so that it gives it a very airy light look um, to the waterfall pages okay, this next page is for my weekly summary I will ideally complete this page at least once per week So I'm writing weekly summary up at the top and as you can see I completely messed up the first time I tried to write the word summary. So I'm taking a scrap piece of this journal paper that I used from the Dutch doors for making the waterfall pages and then I wrote the word summary how I liked it and then I just glued it on top. So if you're scared to create Dutch doors don't be. At the very least they can help you cover up mistakes. Now I am going to create the table. table is going to have four different sections or four different rows and then four columns and the columns are going to be for each 
week. On the left hand side, I have the title weekly summary. I have weeks one and two of my table. And then at the bottom on the left hand side, I'm going to have my mid month check in. On the right hand side, I'm going to have my readjustments weeks three and four, and then the goals I accomplished down at the bottom. So after I write week one through four at the top, I'm going to label each row. Um, each row has, well, the first row is time at the gym. So the amount of minutes I spend at the gym, the number of days at the gym is the second row. The third row is my number of days where I hit my caloric goal. And the fourth row is the number of days that I hit my water goal. Right below that, I left some room so that I can get the percentages of those last three topics. And then on the right hand side at the top, I have some space for some readjustments. And then at the bottom, I have the goals that I have accomplished. So I'm leaving some room so that I can go back in and write down the goals that I accomplished. Continuing with our third waterfall page, I'm using a solid washi tape. That is a lighter green than the one I used on the first waterfall page, but I also wanted to keep it in the green family and kind of match it to that pattern so that it is such a pretty combination. I'm in a simplicity type of mood this month, I guess. So. Um, on the left hand side of this spread, it's going to say um, one word to describe this month. I'm just going to leave a blank for that one word. And then on the right hand side, it's going to say my May progress pictures. So these are any pictures that I have through May. Um, I'm really bad about filling this spread out. I need to get better at doing it. I'm going to finish off our waterfall spread by bringing this last pattern washi tape all the way to the edge. just going through to uh, clean up some of the edges of the wording that I cut off when I decided to do the waterfall doors at the beginning so I'm just covering up some of the letters that have been written over or some of the <laughs> words that have been cut off I'm covering those up with some journal paper and I'm going to write the complete word on that piece of paper so that um, it reads well and then I'm just going to go in, add some gold details, and that will be it. And we'll be ready for the final flip through. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like, share it with someone, and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.